Good morning. I am now joined by Reverend Dave Jagger, who has come to General Counsel today to be part of the moment in plenary session today when we marked the 50 year anniversary of union between the United Church of Canada and the Evangelical United Brethren. So Dave, welcome. Thank you, hi. So this morning we saw a wonderful video mm -hmm. in session and heard from some EUB uh, representatives to mark this moment, this historic moment of 50 years since the union between the United Church of Canada and EUB, which is the, the most recent um, denomination to come into the United Church of Canada in the 60s. Yes. So why did you come today to mark this occasion? Well, partly I came today because I am an EUB import, I'll call myself. I married into an EUB family, and so my wife, Deb, and I brought her parents, the Reverend Bruce Seabock and his wife, Betty. Bruce was one of the presenters for the event today. And so you, as you call yourself, an import. And what did that mean to you when, um, when you were imported into EUB life, and, and what was that moment or that experience of connection between your United Church of Canada upbringing and then uh, having a minister called to your congregation who brought this EUB history? That's a good question. Um, I was on the search committee that brought Bruce to my home congregation of Emmanuel in Hamilton. Um, we had never heard of the EUBs before he came to us, so we got some history out of it. Yeah. But one of the strong things that Bruce brought to the congregation was his connection to Silver Lake United Church Camp, now United Church Camp. Um, Bruce was actually part of the group that bought the property and brought that camp into, into that created the camp. Um, and so all of a sudden we had this new thing that we could do as young people was we could go to camp um, that we never really heard of before that. Um, Bruce also was a mentor to me, of course, as, as the, my minister at that time. Um, his emphasis on prayer, discipleship, um, big themes, and, and big themes that the United Church needs to pick up on again today as well. So those are kind of the main points, I think, that, of us coming together. Fantastic. And so why was it important for you and your family and you brought a, a group with you today? Why did you feel the need to come here to Oshawa to mark this moment? Well, the EUB union was the f first real full union that the United Church had after 1925. And we are a uniting church as well as united. Um, at the time, now, I mean, I would have been three at the time, but at the time, the EUBs we were talking with, but we were also talking with the Anglicans. And as we know, that conversation didn't really go anywhere other than a hymn book. Um, and so it's just really important as we, three years ago, got into relationship with the United Church of Christ. And then this morning, it was really neat, just before the EUB presentation, when the General Council voted to go into full communion with the Disciples of Christ Church, to recognize that this is not a new thing. It's something that is who we are. That's important. United and uniting, United as you and say. Uniting. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, and I like that connection. And we were just talking about that that uh, that moment right before the EUB presentation, and and you there was something a synergy between the two moments, yeah. something significant there. Absolutely, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to chat with me today, Dave, and thank you for coming all the way just to mark this historic moment. And uh, happy 50th anniversary to the EUB. Uh, in union with the United Church of Canada. It is a, a good celebration indeed. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yep. Thank you.